You live because of the sun. It makes your life, your breathing, your movement, your memory possible. Everything you eat, everything you drink, everything you see is recycled sunlight. But that star is a shelf life. And one day, the thing that gave you life will take it away. The sun is not a ball of fire. It is a giant sphere of plasma with a temperature of 15 million degrees Celsius at its center. That's where the thermonuclear reaction takes place. Hydrogen fuses into helium. About 600 million tons of hydrogen disappears every second. Part of the mass is converted into energy, light and heat. It is these that reach the Earth after eight minutes and 20 seconds, providing all living things with energy. It's a stable process, but stability is temporary. When the hydrogen in the core runs out, the sun will begin to change. Its core will shrink, its temperature will rise. The outer shell will swell. The sun will become a red giant. Its radius will increase hundreds of times. It will swallow Mercury, then Venus, and then it will reach Earth's orbit. Our oceans will evaporate long before then. The atmosphere will burn up. The surface will melt. Everything we've built will disappear. It will not be an explosion, but a slow annihilation. Millions of years of light will be replaced by millions of years of heat. The sun will shed its outer layers, becoming a planetary nebula, a glowing cocoon of gas. The core will remain at the center, a white dwarf, about the size of the Earth, but 200,000 times denser. A spoonful of matter from such an object weighs more than an airplane. It doesn't glow, it smolders. No hydrogen, no life, no meaning. One day the sun will disappear, its light will fade and it will turn to ash in the universe. But before it does, it will give life to you, me, the whole planet. Every atom in your body was once born in its fire. And when you're gone, it will go back to where it came from. Because nothing disappears in space. Everything just changes shape. 